Hi, I know I am a bit late, but better late than never. So let's talk about Godzilla Minus One before I start. Spoiler alert. You have been warned, I have only watched the Hollywood Godzilla movies and the anime Godzilla trilogy. So I don't have my experience watching Japanese Godzilla movies, and I will be honest about it, and with no filter. The movie was better than I expected. I already know, everyone says this was a good movie, I always don't agree, so I will just express how I felt. Usually I am like, give me Godzilla and less human characters. But this one I was okay, I was invested, I felt the emotions. But still just like every Godzilla movie I would really like more of. Godzilla and I know you don't agree so feel free to type it in the comment how much I don't understand the movie. I read every comment. For the budget this movie had, Godzilla looked great but wasn't the best Godzilla I watched. I have seen better Godzilla in YouTube videos, I don't know if they had a better budget. I guess it works. It didn't bother me that much. Just sometimes it felt like this Godzilla would work better if this was an anime. Because it looks like it belongs in an anime, not live action. But what was more unrealistic than Godzilla was a good looking guy and girl living together under one roof for years and nothing happened between them. If you tell me Godzilla really lives under the ocean in real, I would believe you, but I had a hard time believing that. But for the human character, I have to say I really did care about them. I was really invested in them. This movie did a really good job. I don't know if they really needed a monster. I mean, if you remove the Godzilla, this characters have enough chemistry to keep the movie interesting. So they really did a great job. The actors and the writer, they did really well. And this movie also played with my emotions. It was going high and low. So that is a good thing. Not many movies can do that. So good job movie for playing with my emotions and giving me war trauma. I am no science expert. Maybe someone can comment any links if you know better. But Godzilla lives in the deep ocean. Can you really kill him with the pressure of the ocean? When the doc was telling they really don't know much about Godzilla. And I don't know how to feel about the ending. It was a happy ending and everything came together and we didn't lose any main characters, which to be honest was a bit cheesy. Because I was hoping for a bit of casualties and also death fake out. That felt a bit too cheesy, but I was happy and relieved. And then before the credits roll, you can see Godzilla regenerating again. So did they really win? Or is it just a matter of time before Godzilla destroys everything? So I don't know if I should be scared or happy at the end. Overall, this was a good time. I enjoyed the movie, I enjoyed Godzilla blowing up things and destroying cities. So, this is a good Godzilla movie, no doubt. I would give it 7 out of 10. That's all for now. See you again in the next video.